And here in Marazine, St. Michael's Mount is just behind me. As you can see, the tide is in now, but this morning there were hundreds of people on the beach waiting for the big moment. And when the darkness fell, all the crowds cheered. It was a very emotional time for a lot of people. And one man who's waited a long time to see it is Patrick Moore, and he joins me now. Um, Patrick, it, the clouds were very oppressive, but it was still a very emotional moment here. But from an astronomer's point of view, was it a bit of an anticlimax? I think for people who had never seen a total eclipse, the answer has got to be yes. It is a magnificent sight. When the corona, the sun's atmosphere, flashes into view, there's nothing like it. And of course, we did miss all that. Not the same, I think, for me. I've seen seven total eclipses, but I've never before been under a leaden sky, mm. and frankly, I didn't quite know what to expect. Yeah, it was and the effect eerie, was, wasn't it? It was eerie. It was very weird. The moon shadow rushed towards us, mm. the darkness fell very quickly indeed, temperature dropped, and it was, as you say, eerie, in a way rather, rather sinister. I had the impression of being transported to another planet, and I think everyone felt the same. The sudden silence, and it really, all nature seemed to go to sleep. And it ended again, very abruptly. The moon shadow rushed away, and things came back to life. But it was a, a weird experience, and unlike anything I'd experienced before. You wonder, really, how people in ancient ages would feel, because it was quite a frightening moment, wasn't it? Could it could be very frightening indeed. And, of course, the old Chinese used to believe that the sun was being attacked by a hungry dragon. But when you have an under overcast sky, they wouldn't know what was going on. They could be very frightened. Now this, as we're seeing, is the, is the corona here. Uh, is there anything that, that science can learn from this when it knows so much already about it? Yes, indeed. You see, there's the moon blocking out the sun, and round it the sun's atmosphere, the corona, and the outer corona can be studied from Earth only during totality when the moon acts as a screen. And clearly, we want to find out as much about the sun as we can, so you've got to take advantage of the time when the moon lets us do that. So every eclipse is important, and every eclipse is different. So we're learning more all the time, and we'll learn a lot from this one. And the next one? Next one, well, 2001, go to Southern Africa. I've every intention of going there. Here in the West Country, we've got to wait until September 2019. I've oh every intention of being here, provided, of course, I live to the advanced age of 167. <laughs> Which I'm sure you will do. Patrick Moore, thank you very much. Well, more than a million people had come to the Southwest to witness the eclipse.